And then lastly, getting into what everyone wants to see. What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice back here with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the week eight drop list for Palace's Summer 2023 collection, which is set to drop this Friday, June 23rd. So the big collaboration for this week is with Vans. We will get into that later on in the video. But before we get into this video, I just wanted to say something. Uh, I had a comment on one of my last week's videos and just like that dude could suck me. Uh, but if you guys are here every week watching my videos, I really do appreciate it and I am trying to add new content into the channel. I just work two jobs and I run a couple other social media sites so it's been kind of hard to run everything but I do have a longer form video that is like breaking down the history of Supreme so I'm really excited about that and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy some of that new comment content but yeah uh, that comment just really rubbed me the wrong way but Anyways, yeah, like I said, if you guys are here every week watching my stuff, I really do appreciate it. But anyways, like I said, uh, I do think this week is pretty fire. It's actually pretty bad timing for me because uh, I just dropped a bag. Like, I just paid for an Airbnb. So, uh, money is running a little thin, which is uh, very disappointing because starting off with this item here, we have the Palace Forever Hood. And I think this is probably my favorite item from Palace like this whole season. I don't know something about that just like artwork really captures me. Um, it, I feel like it's like a little bit feminine but at the same time I don't know I just think it's really cool. I don't think I would get it on the pink hoodie though. I do think I would go for probably just the black one. I think that one's probably the cleanest and the logo itself really pops off of there. My mouse died uh, so I had to go get a trackpad. But anyways uh, back to where we're at. Really love this hoodie. I uh, really think the logo, uh, the imagery just really pops off this black hoodie. So I think that's why I like it so much. But really just that artwork is what captured me regardless of the color of the blank that it's on. Uh, we do have multiple items of this palace forever type of look. We've got a pair of sweatpants too. I think these are equally as cool. I just know that uh, I didn't want to buy both pieces because it would be just pretty expensive. Uh, and I do like the hoodie a little bit more. But I do really like these sweatpants. Um, Again, I would probably just go with the black or the white. Uh, but yeah, the black, it just it just really pops off of there. So I really like the way that that looked. But both those pieces were bangers. And then we do have a hat as well. And it's a trucker hat, which makes it even cooler. Um, we've got these little like stars kind of on the brim. Very cool. Uh, not too many other details than that. Just the uh, image that you've seen on the last two pieces. And then we have the stars there. But... I think these are super clean. Um, I think I would actually probably go with the white one here. I like the color scheme on here a little bit more than the one on the black one. It's got the yellow worked in there, but both the white and the black are super fire. And I even think the pink hat uh, is really cool here. That pink is like a really deep, it's almost like red. Here we have the Spectrum uh, P3 shirt. So this is just a Triferg, kind of got some rainbow, like ombre type of color going on here and this is coming in a bunch of different colorways so yeah just pick your favorite one and do keep in mind the trifer like colors do change on whatever blank it is so yeah don't expect the trifer to be the same if you get a different color blank or something like that um i think probably the brown one is my favorite i just really like like these color combinations like brown and yellow and orange i think always looks really cool together um but yeah I don't know these are all right uh, this one's got like a little Rasta vibe going on that one's pretty cool uh, and the black one you can never go wrong with black so yeah I thought these were pretty cool probably not something that I would pick up though just kind of eh. here we have another t-shirt that I really like um, so this is like a play on uh, like a Chinese restaurant I'm trying to zoom in here I'm not used to the trackpad so it's a little bit weird yeah so it looks like it just says Palace London has a little dragon there and then uh, I can't really tell what the text says uh, but here's the back of it. I imagine the text on the front just says something similar to this. It just has like a phone number and then the location of this imaginary like Chinese restaurant. But yeah, these shirts are really cool. Uh, I like the yellow one. I, I like the green one. I like the Heather Gray one. I'd probably go with the Heather Gray uh, just because I feel like it's like, or maybe the white because it looks like actual shirts that like employees at this imaginative restaurant would wear. But yeah, I think they're really fire. Uh, the black one's really fire too. I'm just kind of basic. I don't like a lot of color. <laughs> but uh, anyways, moving on. Yeah, I thought that piece was pretty solid. Uh, then we have this like fishing vest. Uh, it's called the Hydro Vest. 
all kinds of pockets super useful like a tactical style vest like i said probably good for fishing it does have some reflective elements added onto it here so if you're out fishing late at night people can still see you uh, it's coming in i believe three colorways yeah so we've got that green one a gray and then a black yeah these are cool uh i'm not a vest like a vest guy but i do think these look really cool and i do think these uh serve like a functional purpose as well as like actually looking aesthetically pleasing and cool like in an outfit next we have the still uh t-shirt again i really like this imagery um this reminds me of like the 94 like olympics art style if you guys have seen any of that from like the atlanta olympics definitely looks like something that could have came out of that era really like it um really like the like logo the graphic design um, as far as colors go, I, I'm not really sure what colorway I'd go with here. Probably the black, again, just super basic. But yeah, I think all these are pretty solid. I do think the more toned down colorways, like the white and the black, for this one specifically, are a lot better. I thought some of the other past t-shirts, I just was kind of biased towards the white and the black. But I do think this image lends itself to a more neutral colored blank. And here we have the Paltec Trucker in the steel gray. So I'm actually not sure what this like little mesh flap is here, but I think it adds a little bit to the hat. Then we just have the palace branding there. Um, this like gives me very like early 2000s vibes, which I really like that era of fashion. So I kind of like these hats. Uh, I don't really know if I can see myself wearing one of these, but I do really like the way that they look. And I feel like uh, these don't really fit my style, but if these like do fit someone's style, I feel like uh, they would go really hard, if that makes sense. I do like this one too. Uh, it's got the little two-tone going on with the green and the white. The other one was just all gray. Um, this one looks like it's all black. So uh, I think the gray one is probably my favorite. I think it's just the cleanest, but I do like the, uh, the, two the two-tone look here, like I said. And then lastly, getting into what everyone wants to see, we've got two pairs of half cabs and then we have uh, one t-shirt that's coming in two colorways so everything for this vans collaboration is just black and white um but yeah here is the first look at the half cab in white we do have it in black too i don't know why i said there's two pairs there's two colorways of one shoe uh but as you guys can see here it has a little tab there palace low palace vans 2023 i think that's a cool detail there that little tag um half cabs have never really been my style I'm actually a little too flat footed to wear Vans at all, but I do think these look pretty clean. It uh, looks like the materials are very high quality for a pair of Vans. Like this leather on the tongue actually looks pretty nice. So yeah, um, these are pretty clean. I know like a lot of people out there are gonna be hyped for this, especially like the people who are really into skateboarding. These should be nice, durable skateboarding shoes. Um, and I know like a lot of people are just accustomed to Vans because they're so popular. So here's a better look at the black ones too. I didn't notice um so there's no contrast stitching on the white ones but the black ones do have the white contrast stitching i'd say that's really the only two or the only difference that i noticed between the two pairs so nothing major there very small uh we do have the checkerboard too on the back of like the heel tab which is cool um and then here's the t-shirts i like the t-shirts uh, if i were to get a piece from this collaboration i would go with the t-shirts over the shoes because I don't really skateboard. Uh, half cabs I feel like are a very like skateboarder-esque shoe. So I would feel like kind of a poser wearing them to be honest, which I should probably feel like a poser for just wearing Palace or Supreme in general, but who knows or who cares anymore. We're at this point in uh, streetwear where 99% of people wearing these brands don't actually skate, I would say. Uh, but I really do like this logo. Like I said, even just on the tag on the shoes, I thought it looked cool. So in t-shirt form, I think it looks really cool. How they've like skewed the text to kind of just fit with the image works really well. And the branding uh, is like, it's not like super in your face, but it's definitely prevalent enough that you know what this is from. And then we do have this in a white as well. So yeah, I really like these. Uh, I, thought, I thought overall this was a really solid week. I could honestly see myself if I had the money, um, buying, so I would probably buy everything expect, except this Spectrum shirt, uh, maybe the Hydro vest, because it's just really not my style, but I think it's a really sick piece. And then uh, the Paltech Trucker is probably not something, it's just not really my style. I don't think I could fit it into my wardrobe. But anyways, that is pretty much it. Again, uh, you guys saw my rant 
or like my little rant at the beginning of this video so yeah uh like i said if you guys do make it all the way through my videos i really do appreciate it um i spent a lot of time doing this stuff and i feel like i worked pretty hard at it so it was kind of deflating to just see a comment like that it is the internet i kind of know like that stuff is to be expected but uh my content had also just kind of like stalled out so it was just like bad timing uh i got a little angry but anyways yeah it, it, it will we'll keep going up new content on the way stay tuned for it Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. Have a good one.